Why must I forever be surrounded by mechanical morons? If not for your bumbling, the Autobots would have been vanquished long ago! Please, mighty Galvatron, have mercy! We are your most loyal soldiers! And just where has your loyalty gotten me, Cyclonus? Where is my sprawling empire? My legion of servants? Because all I see is a burnt out husk of a planet and two useless tin cans ready for the smelting pools. So Galvatron has gone completely mad, eh? Weird Wolf, begin preparations for departure. The time has come for us to distance ourselves from this madman. At once, my lord. We shall eliminate those still loyal to Galvatron and offer salvation to the rest. Then, when I take control of the entire Decepticon Empire, no force in the universe will stand against me. Geez, Iconis, Galvatron really did a number on you guys back there. <laughs> Galvatron is just under increased stress due to the presence of our Nebulon allies. Yeah, well, at least Zarak has a game plan. I'm starting to think we'd be better off if he were our leader. Choose your next words carefully, Swindow, for what you speak of as mutiny. Take it easy, Cyclonus. Listen, Galvatron had his chance to leave, and look where that got us. I don't know about you, but Char isn't exactly my idea of paradise. So why not give this Zarak guy a chance? If not for Zarak's cowardice, we would have already reclaimed Cybertron. If you want to go down with the sinking ship, pal, that's your business, but we're out of here. The Decepticon Empire is in a sad state of affairs. Perhaps we should pay Zarak a visit and question him on this supposed insurrection. Or perhaps we too should consider our allegiance. Ingrates without Galvatron, you would not even exist! Yes, it's true, I suppose. But if your loyalty is waning, Scourge, it is time something must be done. Zarak, there's talk of defection amongst our Decepticon brothers, and I suspect that you are the source. By the honor of Galvatron, I demand you tell me your treasonous plot. Do not come within my city banks making demands. Galvatron has no authority here. Do you dare deny that several Decepticons have already conspired to abandon Galvatron's lead in your favor? If Galvatron's troops are looking to me for guidance, who am I to turn them away? Who, indeed? Scurry along now, Cyclonus. I have more important matters than to talk to the likes of you. My fellow Decepticons, we are gathered here today because we share a common bond. We're all sick and tired of Galvatron. His madness and ill-thought-out tactics have run the once-proud Decepticon Empire into the ground! It's time for a new leader! It's time for the era of Zarak! You say Zarak is staging a rebellion? You're sure of this? Short of spelling it out, he admitted to it. And he wasn't very coy about it either. Then the time has come to end our alliance with these disgusting flesh creatures. We will dispose of him immediately, mighty Galvatron. Come, Skirt. Wait! I will destroy Sarak when I deem the time is right. For now, I want to know exactly what he's planning. Perhaps he will be of use to me.
such grand preparations you're making, Zorok? Going somewhere? Merely embarking on a journey to collect energon. For our mutual benefit, of course. Oh, of course! There's talk of an insurrection, but I'm sure you wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Heavens no, it must have been a misunderstanding, most likely caused by the low intellect level of the company you tend to keep. Hmm, how very clever. Well, don't let me delay your departure. After all, the welfare of the Decepticon Empire rests squarely on your shoulders. Indeed it does. More than you know. Follow him. What is our destination, my lord? The Earth. We will exploit its multiple energy sources to build our new empire. But surely the Autobots will be alerted to our presence and attack! Indeed they will. That is why I will contact Optimus Prime in advance of our arrival. We have a common goal now, the elimination of Galvatron. Why make the effort ourselves when we can have the Autobots do it for us? A genius plan as usual, Zarek. And while the Autobots are occupied with Galvatron, we will help ourselves to all the resources we need. Sound wave to Galvatron. Zarak is on course for Earth. Just as I expected. Oh, Zarak, you predictable fool! I don't think you're gonna believe this, but we've got an incoming transmission from Zarek. This should be interesting. Patch him through. Greetings, Optimus Prime. Your sensors have no doubt already picked up our arrival, so I am choosing to contact you directly. I offer you a temporary truce which stands to benefit both of us. If you grant us temporary asylum here on Earth, I will arrange for the capture of Galvatron's troops by your forces. And why would you want to do that? Inheriting the leadership of the Decepticons has been less than total. Removing those still loyal to Galvatron would be an unpleasant necessity at some point and there's no time like the present. We will of course be happy to assist you in their capture. And how do I know you'll live up to your end of the bargain? I think you'll find me to be a very different adversary than Galvatron. You see, although I don't share the same aspirations as you and your Autobots, I do realize that coexistence is a less destructive path. Once Galvatron has been captured, my forces and I will depart Earth peacefully and permanently. I give you my word. Hmm. Very well. If it means the capture of Decepticons, I'll take your bait. You may stay on Earth for now, but be warned, Zarek. We'll be watching you. I would expect nothing less, Optimus Prime. It is time that we go underground. Do you really think we can trust him, Optimus? Not for a second, old friend. But if we can convince him that we're on his side, we may be able to eliminate two threats instead of just one. So long as noble Optimus Prime keeps his word, we now have a safe haven away from Galvatron's sensors. This will allow us the time we need to eliminate his remaining forces. The question is, how to bait him? Mad as he is, Galvatron is no fool. But he is power hungry! If we can find enough energon, he's bound to come after it. It's just a matter of sending him the coordinates. An excellent idea. May I nominate my target masters for the job? No! The Headmasters and I will take care of this. 
You stay here in case the Autobots try something. I trust Optimus Prime about as far as I can throw him. Let's go! Xerox forces are mobilized. I must report to Galvatron. Hey, what's that down there? It's Zoe! We gotta tell Zarak! Finding, Finding something, something Galvatron, Galvatron desires, desires will not be difficult. difficult. Transmitting him the information in such a way that it does not raise his suspicions, on the other hand, will be challenging. Soundwave and its cronies followed us here! We seen them with our own eyes! Sounds like we've got a rat problem. What would you like us to do about it? Hmm... Perhaps the rat is in fact the solution. Bring him to me. Soundwave to Galvatron! Come in, Galvatron! Sorry, Soundwave, but our transmission is over! PERMANENTLY! The Transformers will return after these messages. We now return to the Transformers. If Galvatron did send a spy, the question is, how do we best use him to our advantage? I say we melt him down for scrap! Look who we found! Have you come to join us, Soundwave? Don't be so naive, Weirdwolf. Soundwave is Galvatron's lapdog. He would never stray from his side! <laughs> Well, Soundwave? Galvatron Superior. Zarak Inferior. Have it your way. Prepare to be vaporized! Wait, we can use Soundwave to transmit the coordinates of energy sources to Galvatron and lead his troops straight into the Autobots' trap. Yes, Galvatron would never question intel from his precious Soundwave. Never. We don't need him to! A quick scan of his vocal processor, and I'll be able to replicate his audio frequencies! Soundwave to Galvatron! Come in, Galvatron! Yes, Soundwave. Report. Zarek has located a super rocket. Transmitting coordinates now. Excellent work, Soundwave. At least one of my soldiers can be counted on. We will steal the energy right off from underneath Zarok's traitorous nose. And when he has been completely starved of energy, he will come begging for salvation, only to be crushed beneath my heel. We came as fast as we could. You'd better have good reason for summoning the Predacon, Cyclonus. Indeed, I do, Razor Claw. Soundwave has transmitted the location of an experimental super rocket at a human military base due east of here. Your mission is to retrieve it so that we may refine it into Energon. Well, the intel better be good this time. Galvatron's wild goose chases have left us running dangerously low on Energon. After this mission, you will have all the Energon you desire, I assure you. And I can assure you that if we do not, you will personally answer to Predaking. They took the bait. 
All day waiting and no sign of Decepticons. Zarek took us for suckers. Wait, what's that? Decepticons! That's our cue. It's Pretty King. Train bots, you know what to do. Suffer, Autobot! We've been had! Don't concern yourself with that now, fool! Defend yourself! Decepticon is a friend of mine. You will answer to Galvatron himself. Not a chance. You heroes need to learn the meaning of the word truce. We're supposed to be working together here. It'll be a cold day in Iacon when I work with the likes of you, Six Shot. After the traitor! I'm telling you, Optimus Prime can't be trusted. Either that or his lackeys are too stupid to follow orders because they attacked me. Both are possibilities, but if we are to continue thinning out Galvatron's forces, it will be more efficient if we are able to cooperate with Optimus Prime. Well, those auto bozos would have captured more than just the Predacons had they stayed out of my way. Agreed. We will let Optimus Prime handle the Stunticons on his own. Meanwhile, we have retrieved the locations of Astro Train and the Combaticons. What say you all pay them a little visit? Now you're talking! <laughs> According to Soundwave's report, the train carrying the super fuel should be right around here. Is that guy crazy? Coming right for us! There he is! Wait a minute! That's just a passenger train! Destroy him! Take your aid! I'm on your side! Not anymore! Did those Decepticons just save us? Who cares? We're alive, ain't we? Rudicus! Galvatron needs you back at the base! I'll be relieving you here! We didn't receive any such orders. Well, you're receiving them now. We should radio Galvatron to confirm his wishes directly. Look, Galvatron has an urgent mission for Bruticus. If you want to keep him waiting, then be my guest. I won't be the one answering to him. Uh, on second thought, uh, what are you waiting for, Bruticus? Galvatron beckons you. Have fun. <laughs> what was that, Bruticus? Oh, so, tell us, Six Shot, why is that Rex top lackey acting as messenger boy for Galvatra? Speaking of messages, Zerok has one for you guys. Oh, yeah? And what's that? You're discharged! Dishonorably. These are the coordinates. What's this? Two gift-wrapped Decepticons? I guess Zarak is keeping up his end of the bargain. Alright, one last job for Galvatron, and if it doesn't work out, we're jumping ship! Frankly, I don't even see why we should bother. There they are. 
It looks like Zarek was telling the truth after all. We're ready, just give the word, Optimus. Yeah, well, if Soundwave's intel is correct, this little rig will have enough energy for us to retire on, and we won't have to work for anybody anymore. They're about to move out. Autobots, let them have it! You heard him, Headmasters. The Autobots! How'd they know we'd be here? Another one of Galvatron's plans fails, and you're surprised? Look out! Where do you think you're going? Oh, don't you Autobots ever give up? Time to shed a little dark on the subject. We're out of here! Not so fast, Deceptor Creep! I don't believe it! So Zarek was telling the truth. That's the last of Galvatron's forces on Earth. All that's left is to capture Zarek. Hound? While we couldn't trace Zarek's frequency due to it originating underground, we were able to follow his troops back and we know exactly where they're hiding. Autobots, prepare to roll out. It's time we took the fight to the Decepticons. The Transformers will return after these messages. We now return to the Transformers. Now that Galvatron's Decepticons have been dealt with, the Autobots will no doubt go after Galvatron himself. And while they're occupied, we'll help ourselves to as much of Earth's energy as we like. There's just one problem with your plan, Sexshot. We decided to come after you first. How did they find us? You fools must have been followed! What? It couldn't have been us! Never mind passing the buck! Attack! Works for me! Good guys three, bad guys nothing. Wretched Autobot traitors! This place is about to collapse! Watch out, Brad! Oh, yeah, get twelve o'clock! Oh, now how are we supposed to get out of here? To me, my Decepticons, before the cave completely collapses. Here's we've worn out our welcome on Earth. No matter, we will not let this put a damper on our moment of victory. They're getting away! Well, they don't have the energon to get very far. I think I have a hunch where they're headed. I told you Optimus Prime couldn't be trusted. Now we're right back at square one! On, On the, the contrary, contrary, it's time for a celebration. My coup for leadership of the Decepticons is nearly complete. 
Invite Galvatron's few remaining loyalists to join us in welcoming their new leader. Surely even they will be ready to abandon him now that he has been completely cut off from his energon supply. Ah, true. And once they arrive, we'll have enough troops to stage a full-scale assault on the Earth. Exactly. Now let us begin preparations for the coronation ceremony. My Decepticon brothers, allow me to present to you the mastermind behind the uprising and your new leader, Lord Zarak! Let this day mark the dawning of a new era for all Decepticons. Together we will capture the Earth and do what Galvatron never could. Eliminate the Autobots once and for all? What the? The Autobots are the least of your worries now, Imposter. What are those creatures? What are your worries of no concern to you? What you should be concerned with is who sent us? Galvatron? How very perceptive of you, Zorak! But, but how can this be? Your forces are depleted! Fool! For every insubordinate traitor, I have ten loyal soldiers hiding in plain sight! Pretenders! Reveal your true selves and destroy! Scorpion! Bombburst! Submarine! How did they do that? Don't just stand there gawking, you fools! Attack! Traitor! Ingrate! Huh. Amateurs! Let a pro show you how it's done. Do no mercy to the traitors! So, Zorak, any last words? Do with me as you wish, Galvatron. I am no match for you on my own. But know this, you have lost your flock. Strike me down and another will rise up to take my place. Then he will be crushed like you. Prepare for your destruction! What's this? It appears the Autobots have decided to crash our little party. May I suggest a temporary truce while we deal with our common foe? <sighs> Agreed. Their interruption has brought you precious astroseconds, but mark my words, Zark. Your time is short! Ready the photon cannons. We'll soften them up from above before we land. Optimus, are you sure this is wise? I mean, that is the entire Decepticon army down there. Give me part of gangway coming through an important message for Prime. All lasers, blasters, and cannons ready to fire on your command. I appreciate and share your concerns, Perceptor, but the chance to capture both Zarek and Galvatron is what we have to take. Autobots, fire at will! Destination approaching. Planning sequence initiated. Never mind the play-by-play, -play, just try to get us there in one piece. Cybertron Strike Team, take the fight to Zarek!
Earth Strike Team, Gavatron is ours! Stay out of this, Prime! This isn't your fight! Until you lay down your arms, Gavatron, your fight will always be mine. You scrap heap rejects! My vocal processor! Look what you've done! You meddlesome ignoramus! Decepticons, retreat and regroup at Skolkanov. Gamatron, your adversaries are retreating and you're badly outnumbered. Surrender now, and I will recommend a lenient sentence to the Earth Defense Command. As long as I function, I will never surrender to an Autobot. But as much as I hate to admit it, he's right. Decepticons! Fall back to charge! Now oh, come back. I was just getting warmed up. What do you think, Optimus? Should we go after him? Not right now, Rodimus. After what we've witnessed here today, Something tells me Galvatron and Zarek will keep each other busy for a while. 